Welcome to Dell Technologies Connectrix Brocade Series, How to View, Add and Remove License on Brocade Switch, via CLI. Reference Dell Knowledge Article Number, 180246. This video was created to give introduction on licensing and to explain how license is installed, configured, on Brocade Switch. Certain Fabric OS features require licenses to be enabled and are often factory installed and supplied with switch hardware. Fabric OS includes a switch, fabric software, and support for optionally licensed software that is enabled using license keys. This slide talks about how licensing works when a new switch is procured for permanent license port-related licenses and temporary license. Please take a moment to know how they work. This slide talks about types of license on a brocade switch. Please take a moment to know what are its types and when are they required. Before you log in, please take a moment to have a look at the licensed lists features. It also lists each feature's associated license name and, if applicable, the location on the local or any connecting switch on which the license must be installed. This demo is set up with Brocade 6505 switch. Let us list the licenses installed on this switch to show how to remove and add the same license back to the switch. With license remove command, remove an existing license from a switch or to deactivate the license key. Note that, operand license key is must, to add, or remove the license. Validate, if the license is removed successfully. For port-related licenses to be, in effect, reset the concerned ports, or, reboot the switch, if switch prompts for it. Now, let us add the same license back to the switch. Verify if the license is added back successfully. To display the switch worldwide name, run License ID Show. License Port Command manages and displays the ports on demand license assignments. It has four operands when using dynamic ports on demand. Use Release to free a port. Use Reserve to secure or preserve a port for license assignment. Use Show to display the dynamic or static POD license assignment. Use Method to select the POD to dynamic or static. License Port Show is executed now. Additional 12 ports increment POD license is populated on this switch, which states that all the ports are licensed. Next, we will see how to activate dynamic or static ports on demand license. Please reboot the switch for this change to take effect. As stated earlier, since the license is populated for all the switch ports, showing the snippet of how releasing and reserving of port 22 works in dynamic ports on demand license. 
please make sure the port 22 is disabled prior to these changes. Refer the following for more information. The documents are available on Dell EMC support site. Knowledge Base Article 180246 is available on the support forum. Both video and content are based on FOS version 8.x command reference guide and software licensing guide. This document is available on Dell EMC support site. Thank you for watching.